friends, it's uh, Penny Wolf, and I have a um, what sold uh, video, ship with me video to share with you today. Um, it's items that have sold on eBay. I would say items that sold on eBay are posh, but there isn't any posh uh, sales um, with this uh, particular haul or shipment of what sold. Um, if you haven't watched any of my other videos before, my name is Penny Wolf, and I sell on eBay and also Poshmark, uh, eBay top rated power seller and Poshmark ambassador. And if you'd like, you can subscribe, and that way you get new notifications when new videos are loaded. I will be doing a haul video, um, a separate one on the stuff that's here. I have other ones that are up on the haul, and then, you know, somewhat sold. But anyways, we'll get right to it. And um, <clears throat> let's see here. The first item that sold is um, a BB. And if you've watched any of my other videos, I had bought a whole bunch of clothing from a lady. And this was one of it. I paid like a dollar for this. This is cashmere, though. It's really cute. Um, there was a uh, Banana Republic, too, and that sold right away. Anyways, this is BB, and this sold for $23.28. And all of the items that I'll be shipping out, um, like these that I don't have in plastic yet, um, most things I put in plastic, some things I don't, but um, I use these clear bags and there'll be maybe one or two that's already in there and uh, they already have the plastic warning printed on it and you can purchase these on eBay and um, I put the clothing in that and like for that little top there, it'll be then that will be going into a poly mailer and um, if you have an eBay store, um, I don't know if it has to be certain subscriptions, but uh, you get the $50 a dollar credit every like quarter. And um, anyways, I like to order the eBay ones, um, but you can order clear ones, or I'm mean, not clear ones, but like stuff that doesn't say eBay, uh, colored ones on um, eBay or even Amazon. Um, this is a little bit smaller size. I really like this size. I don't know exactly what this is. It might be like 10 by 14 or something like that. But anyhow, this is one of my favorite ones. I do order some of the larger ones. Anything that's over a pound, I really like the padded. These are the padded flat rates. And uh, because you can put a lot of different kinds of things in here, although I mostly sell clothing, but there are a few things, um, you know, once in a while that I don't. However, it's still nice for that. And um, these you, you can uh, get at uh, United States Postal Service. I order them online. Some places may have them in stock at the, you know, location, but a lot of them don't. And uh, anyways, you just get them online and they're free and they ship them to you. It's just, you know, get an account and then order your supplies. Anyhow, we'll get right with the next item. And um, the next one, this I've had for quite a little while. And I think it's just like an off brand, but it was brand new with tags and it's a large. And um, anyways, it's polka dot. And um, if you watch any of my other videos, I usually state a lot of times that polka dot um, I stayed a lot of times that polka dot or paisley they sell. It probably depends on the size polka dot, but that's usually if they're kind of like a classic design and they usually are always, you know, pretty nice sellers. Um, this one I've had for a little while and it took a little while to sell. It is brand new with tags. Um, it's just like a cutter and buck, I think, but it has a Ford emblem on there. Um, like Ford Motor. And um, anyways, it is brand new tags. It finally sold. And uh, this sold for um, $21.38, which I was happy with that. I do apologize on that polka dot. Um, I didn't say how much it sold for. It sold for $14.32. Um, this I picked up. Um, if you're not familiar with Nick and Nora, um, like pajamas, they are a decent one to pick up. You might want to check comps first. Um, I don't know if they're used to be more popular or not, but some things do sell. They usually always sell most of the time, but it probably depends on the style. Um, style. This is like brand new. It's really, really nice, but it's only the top, but it has these really cute owl, uh, um, owls on it, but it's Nick and Nora. If you're not familiar with that, it's actually very soft. Isn't that adorable? I love owls and um, I love birds. And I thought this is very cute. This sold for $12. And uh, the Columbia, this is part of my um, part of my plus size clothing. And uh, these are just like kind of like some little crop pants. And um, I don't pick up a lot of Columbia. I used to, but it's really starting to be very selective. But these were plus size and I thought they were cute. And uh, I think they even had one spot that I had to note. I can't remember for sure, but uh, they sold for $11. I was happy about that. I do charge shipping on all the items. Uh, the customer pays for the shipping. And um, 
you know, and on anything that's flat rate, that's like seven. Well, it's like the ice charge like seven ninety because it costs us seven something. You know, um, our cost. You know, when we print them out on eBay, but I do charge for shipping on everything. If you could do me a favor and push the thumbs up button, I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, because I hope you're getting some valuable content out of this, because that's what's really all about. Um, <clears throat> this is a Newport News. I don't pick up a lot of Newport News, although they do have really adorable things. I was thinking about that this morning. I think I used to get their magazines, that and Venus, because I like Venus too. But as far as reselling, Venus, some other stuff sells. Newport News. Oh, this isn't the Newport News. Um the Newport News. Oh, that's coming up. Um, but anyways, uh, the the um, Venus, some of that stuff does sell. You might want to check comps. These are Newport News. They were leather though. That's how come I got them. See, this one's already in the, you know, that poly or that clear bag, you know. And these were leather and I took a chance because I know that brand isn't that great, but leather usually sells. I just let, you know, took the offer. These sold for $15. I was happy to move them. They had to pay shipping. So 15 plus like Seven ninety, you know, and uh, they had to pay a little bit for that. <laughs> and, um, you know, and it's not all about always, um, you know, like the high dollar sales, although we all love those, you know, but these little sales, sales really add up. Like I always say, if you sell 10 items a day, you make a $10 profit, that's $100 a day. Times that by seven, that's 700 a week or $2,800 net. Well, you know, if you have to take other expenses out, but if it's your net, then that's 2800 a month. And, or if you sell stuff at twenty dollars each, that's you only have to sell five today to do a hundred. But you know we want to scale up from there. And you know if you sell twenty a day at ten, it's two hundred. You know, and then that's fourteen hundred a, um, a week. It can add up. This item, it's J Crew, and I just took the offer. It's silk. It's really cute. But I've had it for a while. J Crew, you got to really watch um, reselling J Crew. You're going to want to look it up. Um, J Crew doesn't seem to move that great for me. Write in the comments if it does for you. But it's J Crew, and it's going to probably depend on the year. And most of the pieces have the year um, date on them. This one does not, I don't think, but most of them do, and they're usually by the material tag, and they'll have like the season and the year. And I heard maybe you should only sell like maybe something that's only maybe like three years old or four years old, but it probably depends on the style. Some pieces probably sell more than others, but I have a hard time pushing J. Crew. Five bucks, I was happy they paid shipping. <laughs> I was happy for that to go out the door. Um, this I thought was very pretty, and I thought I would get more out of this, but I took kind of a low offer on it because it is kind of like a T-shirt, but it's a very pretty print. This is part of the plus sizing. This is... Um, um, <clears throat> Susan uh, Lawrence in uh, five dollars, but I took it because you know it just is just you know kind of like a t-shirt material, but it's very pretty. Look at the print on that. Wouldn't that be cute for summer? I thought that was very pretty. Um, oh, this one. If you watched any of my hauls, I about positive this is. I think this is on one of my recent sales. Um, if not, I just bought this. This is brand new with tags. I haven't had it for very long. It was only listed for a few days, I think it was, you know, within the week. And um, But it is brand new with tags, and it's Catherine's. And this is the plus size. It's Catherine's. But it's brand new with tags. And this sold for $24.50. I paid a dollar. Most all these items here, I have paid a dollar. I do pay up for some brands and some styles. But I think most everything with this haul looks to be um, that I paid only a dollar for. That is a nice flip. This is a Croft and Barrel. This is part of the plus size too. I do have plus size um, clothing haul videos up if you'd like to check them out. If you're not familiar with, you know, some of the styles or brands with plus size. Um, this is real cute. See, it's Paisley. And, uh, but anyhow, this is a Croft and Barrel. I would not buy that, um, pick that, um, that brand up in regular size clothing, but in plus size, depending on the style, it sells. And this sold for, uh, $12. And, uh, you know, that's, that was easy one to list, easy to ship. You know, I like short sleeves are easy. <laughs> um, anyhow, this, I thought I had two of these. I can't remember, but they might be slightly different. But this is a Chico's, and this is really cute for summer. It is, I thought these were, okay, this is the cotton one. I have a couple of linen ones up. But this is kind of just like a short sleeve, you know, for like summer. And it's really cute. It's not quite as bright green as what it's showing on there. Um, however, on the video, but, um, this sold for $13, but I had to ship this, um, it was over a pound or, you know, it was heavy and I 
uh, put the shipping on this over a pound and they had to pay an additional $7.90 and uh, with their um, $13. I was happy to move that. Going to start really watching how much Talbots or um, Chico's I pick up. Be, I'm going to start being much more selective. Some of it does sell though. Um, this is uh, some Lucky Brand shorts and um, these um, sold for $13.05. Some of these, you know, I've had things on sale or I've taken, you know, offers, but they're just a little bit longer style jean shorts. They have a little bit of distressing anytime that there's a little bit of rip or any type of, you know, like that type uh, thing. I'll say just dis, um, distressed. However, if they're really got a lot, then you might want to say rip, destroy, distressing. Those are some of the keywords you'd want to use. But this is actually the, was it? selena tomboy but it's lucky i don't sell a lot of, pick up a lot of lucky jeans for women um i do some but not a lot because i don't find that they move that great however they used to but the men's i think move more but i do pick up some and just check you know look them up before you purchase some you know and go from there um these oh i just listed these two now these are like brand new they are really, really nice. They're a cabbie. Um, I just listed these, and uh, they're the 175 cabbie, and they're, like, brand new. And I think they're, they're like a straight or a boot cut or whatever, but they're size 12. And this would have been, I think, on one of my recent hauls. And uh, these are really nice. And um, I don't know if these are the newer style or older style cabbie as far as the label on the jeans. I, I don't know for sure, but I think this might be the newer one. On the clothing, it will be a single, you know, kind of thin um, type, you know, label. And if it's a newer, that would be for the older. If it's a newer style, it would be like bigger and square. That's how you tell them that. And also, like, I, it seems like on all of the clothing as far, I mean, I mean as far as tops uh, other than jeans. As far as the tops go, the numbers are like a four digit almost, but so I wasn't sure about this. However, these are like brand new and they sold for $25 and they also paid the additional shipping of the $7.90. I was very happy about that. Um, this Victoria's Secret, hard to move sometimes some of the items, although I know that the spell outs still sell pretty nice where, you know, it says Victoria's Secret or pink on a sweatshirt or you know, certain things, even a robe, um, they sell, but some of the other items don't. You're going to want to check comps. However, lingerie does sell some pieces more than others. This is a little baby doll and, um, I ended, or like a negligee baby doll and I ended up pricing this up and it sold for $26 and 85 cents. I paid a dollar, pretty sure. If not, it'd be only a couple dollars. Um, I was very happy about that. Let's see. Um, I skipped the bra. Where is that at? Okay. Um, this bra was part of that that I purchased from that lady. And I could have maybe held out for more because some of the Victoria's Secret bras sell for a little bit. But, you know, they are a used bra. And um, I got to fix that. But anyhow, it's very pretty. It's got lace on it. It's the push-up padded. It's really nice shape. It's very soft. And uh, this sold for $12. I went ahead and let that go. But it's very pretty. And um, it's... Uh, this is just the Victoria's Secret, and um, I think it had on there very, very push-up or something like that. Oh, very sexy uh, push-up or something like that. Anyhow, I was happy with that sale. This item is a Boston Proper, and some Boston Proper's uh, pieces, you know, they usually move. Once in a while, I get some that don't that much. It's a very expensive catalog brand. Um, I don't know if they have stores too. This one I already had in a bag and this was kind of Santine. It was not, it's like polyester, but it felt like silk. And, um, this sold for $10. I've had this for a while. I went ahead and let that go. It's Boston proper. And, um, but yeah, you're going to want to probably check comps, but that does sell. Anyhow, that completes the, um, uh, the, the sold items for this video. Isn't this an adorable top? I got this and I thought it was super cute. It'd be really cute with like a jean jacket too. If you watch any of my other videos, I love neon colors and, um, I got this little sweater. This isn't exactly neon, but it kind of looks like it. I know I'm there on the video, but, um, and I usually have my nails neon. This is not, this is kind of like a bluish kind of almost purplish, but anyhow, 
I just thought it was cute. I like graphic things. I like bold things that stand out, you know, not always, but a lot of times. If you watched one of my last videos, I had a really cool looking, two cool looking dresses. They were very bold graphic print. Anyhow, I hope that you've got some valuable content out of this today. And once again, if you can do me a favor and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it trying to uh, grow the channel and trying to get more available content out there to more people and the more subscribers you have, then it does move up the videos for suggested for more people to see the videos and get valuable content. Anyhow, have a blessed day. Thank you.